Hello everyone and welcome to Manhunt Checkpoint and as you can see today we're giving the old rainbow mode another try. Um, now rather embarrassingly I um, I changed cars before it kicked, before rainbow mode kicked in properly. No not that car you stupid person. Uh, before rainbow mode kicked in properly. So um, that's why I ended up with a red mini which is a little unexpected but we'll leave it there and see if any of the hunters notice it and, uh, and say anything. So yes, we are playing Manhunt Checkpoint, and that means I have to trundle around the map, and I have to try and go through all of the checkpoints and uh, tag them all in or in in order. Um, we are playing in rainbow mode, and that means every player is when any whenever any AI cars spawn in, they are spawn they spawn in in the colour of the nearest player. That mean and uh, so that means there'll be purple cars around Tristan, there'll be orange cars around Mike, and so on. Um, my colour, for reasons of sort of making the cars as obvious as possible has been declared to be pink. Um, we probably could have gone for white, but no, we decided pink would be nice and garish instead. So we've got, yeah, we've got that. So yes, lots and lots of pink cars. But the fact there are lots of pink cars around means I'm relatively safe. So the theory is that if you're, if, if you're surrounded by cars of your own colour, then there's probably nobody else around too close. And if there's no hunters around, then there's nobody to shoot me, which is nice. However, the hunter, the, there is a there is a flaw with this thinking because the hunters tend to travel around a bit faster than your average AI does because they don't bother with silly little things like traffic laws or speed limits. So they'll drive around much much more quickly, and that tends to mean that they're at the front of the cloud of cars, their colour, rather than in the middle of it. So by the time you've seen an orange car, it's probably too late, if, especially if you're doing if you, if you're driving particularly weirdly and obviously. There may well already you may well already have been spotted. In fact, that orange car you spotted coming towards you is probably a hunter. So I'm gonna excuse me. I'm going to try and drive a little bit more sensibly than I otherwise would, even if I don't think even if all I can see is pink cars, because there is is always a chance that there are hunters around somewhere. Now I might run red lights a bit because I get bored waiting at them. And I'm trying to get do the I try not to make the, draw the video out too long, um, but I'm going to try not to speed or drive on the wrong side of the road too much, and have a bit of a look around before I um, before I take, before I take um, hey. run through run through places like that. So at the moment, I am in in a pink car, as you can clearly see, um, and this is because basically that's what was spawning all around me when I uh, when I started. So I I didn't have a great deal of choice. Um, However, if the hunters see a pink car, ooh, there's an orange car, that's a, that's useful. It means Mike's around, which is less useful, but it does mean I could potentially change colour if I want to. Is it following? No, it's not following me. Okay, that would have been that would have been very convenient if it had been. However, there's another one there. I am getting relatively close to the uh, the first checkpoint at this point. So I would expect there to be hunters around, and as clearly there are, because as you can see all the orange cars. Um, although I think now actually they've stopped. Orange cars have stopped spawning. Who a car coming out of a um, out of a car park? That's relatively rare. So yeah, I kind of want to switch to a different colour car for my approach to the checkpoint, but I'm going to try and get a little bit closer to it first and get a bit of a feel for which of the hunters are sitting kind of on the checkpoint. Because if I change into one of their colour cars and they're around. Then there'll be other cars of their colour in the area, so hopefully I'll blend in a bit better. We'll wait. We, we shall uh, find out how well this works as we uh, as we carry on. But um, the theory, at least, is a good one. I'm, I should look behind me before I do things like that, just in case. Um, yeah. Okay. So it's all all pink around here again now. So I'm probably a good distance. Oop, there's an orange car. I mean, that actually is Mike. You can tell by the um, comedy driving, and that was Mark as well. So yeah, there's lots of hunters in this area. So my best bet now is probably to try and what all is my plan. I don't know if it's my best plan or if it's just a, <laughs> or if it's just what I'm going to do anyway. <clears throat> I'm going to try and follow that orange mini over there, <clears throat> and then uh, try and find somewhere suitable and safe to steal it. Um, Or maybe that purple, um, whatever that is. I think it's safe to pull a Yui here. Okay, we're going back the way we came from. So let's head around here. Okay, 
Okay, the, the Mini has escaped. However, ooh, was that Tristan behind me? Bump. I'm going to upgrade my car. Well, change my car to this, this lovely purple, fetching purple one. This is a Sabre Turbo, which is a, has a certain turn of speed about it. But most importantly for my, for my purposes at the moment is it's purple. And that, hopefully, is going to mean I can um, blend in with other cars. That does mean I need to find other purple cars. So I'm going to turn left here because there's a purple one there. And I'm going to come in. I'm going to approach the checkpoint from this direction. Because it seems that there's a certain amount of purple around here. And hopefully that means I'll blend in better. I mean, it's, it's, it's a theory. Um, there does seem to be a fair amount of purple around here. Although there is also quite a lot of orange and yellow and green. And surprisingly little pink. Which is probably a good thing from my point of view actually. Because if there's no pink around. Then the hunters won't think I'm here. Um, so yeah, if I can happen to be in the middle of a ring of them. Then that could go quite well for me. So given that, ooh, this is quite, this is both terrifying and extremely useful, because there's no pink cars around anywhere. But, so yeah, that has that means two things. One one thing is it means I'm comparatively safe, because if they don't see any, suddenly there's loads of pink cars. I was gonna say if they don't see any pink cars. They'll think I'm not in this area, but also, um, if there aren't any, and if there aren't any, but but also if there are lots and lots of different colours around, because the hunters are all around me, it means the hunters are all around me, and therefore there's there's just lots of them around, and so it's dangerous because of that. Your car is the shit. So, uh, so I need to. Um, oh, I'm going to turn right on a red light because I'm pretty sure that's the law. Um, okay, I can see quite a bit of purple down here. In fact, I can see the actual the purple there as well. Um, so if I pull over into to about here, now I am going to just, yeah, there's enough hunters around that I'm going to wait at this point, and wait and actually try and get a try and get a green light because with Mike being out of his car and yeah, there's lots of purple around here anyway. Tristan's just cleared off, which is nice. Um, Mike is apparently trying to repair his car, I guess. This so we're going to take that. Now I think. I'm I think Tristan is suspicious of me and turned round. I think I saw him turning round. So I'm going to flee and see how it goes. There's another identical car to mine. Maybe he'll attack that one instead of me. I think I saw him come round the corner at the top of there. Which means he's probably seen me driving down here and driving faster than an AI should. So I'm just going to throw caution to the wind a little bit now. Go round here. And I'm going to keep going straight, because normally I, off, I often pull two turns in quick succession, and he's used to me doing that. So if I come around here like this, whoop, and then maybe go back to blending in. I do want to change cars, though, actually, come think of it. So I'm going to carry on Doc's entrance again. Okay, that's a tricky one. Um, I think, I think I'm away. Um, so I'm just throwing all caution to the wind and trying to get a bit more away, away, away. Um, I saw some orange there, but I think it was just the decoration on the side of a uh, tanker. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> Stupid AIs. <laughs> it's the old... I remember this was a problem from playing GTA more, slightly more normally. Is you run into, the, you get the situation where the um, the AIs try to um, try to avoid you, and often it's when you when you're in a police car with the sirens going, they'll try and avoid you, and then because you've already taken sort of action to dodge them, that means they get more in your way, and you end up hitting them. When if they just stay, where am I going? The wrong way. So let's go this way. We. Um, yeah. Because you'd have ended up, you you, you 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 were dodging them. Because they swerve, you end up hitting them instead, which is always always a bit frustrating. But never mind. Okay, so I need to get down to the docks entrance. Um, I'm kind of nearly there. I don't want to get do it in this car, partly because it's damaged, partly because I'm pretty sure Tristan saw it, um, and other sort of similar reasons as well. So if I get down here, I could switch to a pink car. Which would be better, yeah. 
A pink car is better than a damaged purple car. A, a damaged and burned purple car at this point, Jesus I think. Christ. However, uh. I want to try and keep my eyes out for a better alternative further down towards the dock engines. So as I head down here, fairly quickly, there is only pink cars around, which is interesting because the hunters should be down more or less at the checkpoints by now, ready ready and waiting for me. Um, I think I'm going to wait for this light to change. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just going to go around it like this. I'm in a bloody radius again. I always seem to be in radiuses when, when I um, probably get into chases. There's Mark and Pete, Team Green, hiding in, lurking in the uh, checkpoint. So I think they know by now that I prefer... Oh, it's green light. Let's give myself as much leeway as I can. And then go in a slightly odd direction. I don't know if this is going to get me... I think I see Tristan behind me. I don't like this. It's the wrong way up a ramp, I know. But hopefully... Yes, I think I saw Mike shoot past over there. Right, Tristan is nearby because there's a purple radius there. I could switch to a purple radius from a pink radius, but I don't want to. That's a bad, terrible, terrible idea. Okay, I'm just going to keep running now. Because one of the big things that's different about um, about the colour... Oh dear, there's yellow cars. I'm going in here. One of the things that's very different about the rainbow mode as opposed to the um, the other, any of the circle-based modes is that when you were... Um, in, the, in all of the circle ones, if you get free out and out of a chase and sort of escape in inverted commas then it doesn't actually then you can't really get truly and utterly properly free because the hunters will um because the hunters have the clues from the uh, from the circle to tell them that you've you've gone to ground or you've shot across the shot across the map and are hiding in mirror park or anything like that so they've got those clues that essentially tell them that you have you have or you haven't gone as far as they think you have. Ooh, let's, let's turn the radio off. Let's put the roof down. Because putting the roof down on a convertible sometimes helps a little bit to hide the broken window. It makes me more obvious as to my face. But, oh yeah, there we go. See the broken window's disappeared. Great. So that's that means I can steal a car and still not have a broken window. So that's good. From yeah. So yes, if the hunters see the um the circle go flying across the map they know that the prey has fled if they uh, and, and is running if they see it staying stationary they know that the prey is either trying to blend in or has gone to ground and hidden or something like that whereas in this mode they can't really tell uh, this isn't quite how roads work but never mind now they, they will however be seeing lots of pink vehicles around here so it's it's not a perfect getaway. They, they they do know that I'm in the area, but... What the hell? The... What? That AI... Did, did you... Well, yeah, that was ridiculous. That AI pulled out on me, rolled my car over, hit me hard enough to roll my car over, and pushed me basically into that hunter. If I get caught because of that, I'm not going to be impressed. Time for a bit of running. And oh no, yeah, they are they are behind me. Okay, so I'm in a chase because that bloody AI pulled out onto me and actually knocked my car over. That's ridiculous. Okay, I can see um, Ed following me. This is unfortunate because because he seems to be quite good at staying with me, predicting my turns or whatever it is I'm to do when they're trying to trying to follow me. I don't know. Um, I don't have an enormous amount of speed available to me because I'm driving this Mini. However, I do have quite a bit of manoeuvrability. So, I'm kind of the opposite of the Windsor. It's not particularly fast, but it can corner easily like that. Um, oh! <laughs> and in fact, it corners so well that if you're not careful, you end up driving into lampposts. Tristan is still stuck to the back of me, though. Which, 
That wasn't what I wanted to do at all. Nor was that. <laughs> still, I'm I'm moving. If I'm, and if I'm moving, then I'm still alive. That's the main thing. Didn't take that quite as a light, nice as I'd like to have. There's a lot of different coloured cars behind me. <laughs> it's I mean it's it's kind of pretty I suppose, but not. Oh, it was a lot of oversteer. I mean I'll take it, but oh, I don't know. I don't know actually. The problem is now we we have um, we've got more hunters than we used to have. So some of the tactics that used to be quite nice before, where you sort of um, where you get a two, where if you if you get one or two of the hunters tangled up, you break and, and try and go in the opposite direction. They work fantastically when there's only one or two hunters chasing you. But when there's a when there's a cloud of them, you end up with the, the first couple getting if you, you you tangle the first couple like that, but then the rest of them are able to um, are able to then attack you. And because you slow down in order to get the first ones to tangle up, then you have problems. It's like sort of the offensive driving. And also this Mini is quite unstable because it's front wheel drive and small and light and stuff. Let's go through here again. This sort of sort of worked before. I don't know. Um, let's see if it tangled them up at all. Ooh, maybe it did. Well, I'm not going across the bridge because that's a long straight run. Let's go around here. Uh, Pete is still there. And I wouldn't be surprised if there's... Oh no, I was going to say, I wouldn't be surprised if there's someone waiting for me on that junction. Because the hunters are often quite good at sort of communicating where they are, where I'm going. And then setting up little ambushes and things. Ooh, I did that reasonably well. Stamped on the brakes and then managed to turn. <laughs> I'll take the little victories. Because <clears throat> that often seems to be about all I get. I mean, it's very tempting to run up to the uh, the next checkpoint and just grab, the, grab it. But I... Um, I don't believe in doing that. In, in, in the middle of a run, I think it's sort of the, the, the point of the uh, the game is that you don't you don't take the checkpoints when you're on the run um, because it's it, it's sort of, oh, it's sort of a bit too cheap and God, this mini's all over the place. <laughs> I think that's basically the mini's party trick. Is that oh, that little? Um, it's fantastic for J-turns, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Um, now, I haven't had a huge number of opportunities... Oh, God, for sake. It's got a sort of that agile nippiness, especially when it's going backwards. It's great, yeah, great for the little sort of dodging and J-turns and things, but it's not so great when you're trying to avoid... when you're trying to do a um, high-speed run away from some, some coupes that are much faster than you on a... Uh, on a motorway, so we'll go off here instead and just carry on trying to do little dodges and things. And we're getting a nice run out of this. I mean, I don't know if, if I've got much of a chance of escaping at this rate, but it's going okay, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I'm not dead yet. I haven't escaped, but I'm also not dead. So I think I'll I'll take what I can get. Oh, I didn't turn quite... Despite, despite all my... Um, Everything I was saying about the Mini's nippiness and agileness, it didn't quite manage to get around that corner. Oh no! Oh, that got me out. I think I got nudged by nudged in just the right way by Ed to get me uh, out of there. Oh dear, I heard someone getting out of a car. That's bad news for me. That was there we go. That was the little J turns I was talking about to get the car out of trouble. You can just do those little flicks, and it sometimes works. Let's not go. Oh, I was going to say let's not go onto the highway this time because they'll be expecting that. Um, they weren't expecting it quite enough, apparently. Now I've got different hunters behind me now, so that's um, there's at least some variety going on. Now I've got Mike and Mark. Uh, I don't know whether that's going to give me a better chance of escaping or not. I mean, <laughs> there's still two of them, so I mean the biggest hope really is they're going to do something dumb and tangle each other up and have a crash. Um, I mean, I heard some crashing there. I daren't look backwards. Uh, here's a bit of a straight. Oh, it's only Mike now. Mark, maybe it was Mark who was having the crash. Yeah, I can see him a bit, bit, bit further back. So, yeah, they are, they are kind of with me, but only kind of. That was sort of works. <laughs> Bit of a run through Mirror Park, and now from here, if I get on, if I go through here, I can get onto the. Um, there's, there's, oh, 
dear. That wasn't good. Oh! I was going to say I'll go over this jump. But maybe I don't need to. I do, I do, I do. There's no way there's no way out over here. I'm just going to get shot. I'm supposed to have a taser. Why do I not have a taser? I'm supposed to be able to return fire. Get up the hill. So you's going to suffer if you don't, mate. <laughs> Right, so if I just keep running along here, maybe I can find somewhere suitable to hide. Far enough away from the hunters, they'll disappear. I mean, they're not going to disappear, actually, are they? Because they're going to see all the pink cars around here and they're going to know I'm still here. But I do need to find something that I can hide in. Other than just random people's gardens. Excuse me, excuse me, don't mind me, ladies. Coming through, coming through. <laughs> I can't believe I got away with that, actually. I'm surprised Mike didn't shoot me. Um, let's go in here. Right, okay. Well, this is a tricky situation. Um, I don't know what to do at this point. So, I'm obviously safe-ish for the moment. I think I need to get over there and I need to steal that um I need to I need I need a new vehicle basically. Um and there aren't any on this side of the road. There is Oh, there's a yellow mini coming along there. Okay, Peter's um Peter shot Mike, that's good from my point of view, because that takes them both out of the game for now. I think Oh, no, 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 don't climb on the bloody hedge. <laughs> I think the answer is for me to run over here and grab this uh, this radius. Probably from this side, because it's going to be slightly more subtle. And hopefully I can do that before any um, hunters turn up and spot me doing it. And then I can get... Wait for Mark to go past, get out on the road. Go the other way course. Where am I trying to get to? Trying to get to Origin. Right. Okay, so I think the first thing I need to do is get out of Mirror Park. That's going to be the, the first challenge. Um, now, there's a way out here. I think probably taking the next... No, let's take this one because why not? Because it's because it's there and I, there aren't any hunters down it, so that's a good, good way to go for now. And this is the slightly less used road out of Mirror Park as well, I think. So maybe it's going to be slightly safer. Maybe. I'm in a radius yet again, which is a little unexciting, but never mind. Ooh, I see a lot of orange cars over there. That means, presumably, Mike has got fed up with waiting around here. And they thought that rather than trying to hunt me, try and hunt me down and find me, they'd head off and try and cut me off before I get to the next checkpoint, perhaps? I don't know. So, this isn't really the car I want to be in. Partly because it's a radius and therefore not not that great a car. Partly because it's pink. And there's Mark behind me, I think. He's coming this way, which is a worry. Oh, this is kind of stressful. Okay, he's gone straight past. Good. Don't know what he's chasing, but it's not me, and I'm happy with that. Okay, I'm going to go up here. So, and I'm going to get rammed by a purple car for some reason. I just got out of a chase, goodness sake. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Just, just what? <laughs> I'm 
I mean, I even obeyed the traffic laws there, as far as I could tell. Yes, I pulled out. I pulled out of a junction with a stop sign, which is what you're supposed to do when there's a junction with a stop sign. And then I got accosted by a purple lump. Uh, well, I'm just going to spend the next ten minutes running for for an escape room again. I guess. I, I guess. Um, there's Mike going in completely the wrong direction. It looks like I'm chasing him, but I don't have a great deal of choice here. Um, he's leaving Mirror Park, though, so let's carry on behind him. Okay, now he's turning round. Let's let him join the chase. It'd be mean not to. <laughs> okay, I'm going to head back into downtown. I'm not sure why, um, but I need to go somewhere. So, let's see. Uh, once again, it's how do I get away from them when I'm in an objectively worse car than they are. Um, maybe I should have put slightly more effort into... into um, like that, perhaps. Um, I should have put slightly more effort into uh, finding a better car sooner, rather than just jumping into the first radius that came my way. Um, but then there wasn't really anything else around that I could have grabbed at the time, so this was this was basically my only choice. I didn't really the, the radius wasn't high on my list of um, cars I wanted to use, but it was all that was spawning in Mirror Park, and there was one parked in a really convenient place, so I thought I'd better take it. Ooh, I seem to have lost them, I think. There's lots of yellow here. I don't like that. That means it's probably Ed around. Um, but I don't know where. So I'm just going to keep going up here and keep going until I f until until it's sort of just safe and pink again everywhere. Is there anyone following me? Because this is quite a good place to switch cars if they're not. No, nobody is following me. But there aren't any cars worth nicking. <laughs> Great. I stopped because I saw a reasonably good car, and then suddenly, oop, like that one. This is changing. This is changing cars on a uh, on a major road, which is always a bad idea and wow, tends to be dangerous, saving. but I'm going to do it anyway. So, yes, I'm in a pink car again, still, whatever. Um, now, but I am also fairly close to the checkpoint and probably ahead of the hunters in, in my um, bid to get up there. So I'm going to run this light. And this one. And then hook a left here, and that'll bring me straight along to the checkpoint. And hopefully I can get through that before they all turn up and are ready. So it's a little bit cheeky, but that's their fault for being too obsessed with chasing me, I guess. So we'll take that, and then just try and get out of here. Try and scarper and get far enough away from it that I can have enough time to sort of let my heart rate return to normal and just sort of think about how I want to approach the next one and whether I want to try and get a different colour car. Because this pink felon is it's pretty good. It's a felon. It's it's um it's a good car. But it is my pink colour and therefore they're gonna be suspicious of it. And it's the sort of car I like to use as well, which also makes it doubly suspicious. Now maybe the answer is to try and start taking I've just come from Mirror Park, oh for goodness sake. Uh Right, okay, back to Mirror Park it is then. <laughs> um, how shall I go to Mirror Park? Let's go. Let's go across to downtown, across the bridge and up. And let's do it fairly quickly in the hope that they're not really ready for me. I have noticed that I tend to do better at this game. Um, maybe not necessarily specifically the rainbow one. But the um, but manhunt in gen in general checkpoint games, I do seem to do a bit better when I play a bit more aggressively. I'm playing a lot more aggressively at the moment. I am just hooning across the city. Um, but still, it um, it does help because it means if I'm not hanging around as much, then there's less opportunities to catch me. I think I think that's the reason it works. And if I'm not sitting still, the AIs are, have, have more trouble doing dumb things around me. So that so the I'm limited to only the dumb things that I'm doing. Um, that isn't enough of a limit, unfortunately. <laughs> but it does at least help a little bit. Okay, there's some yellow cars coming towards me. So let's let's slow down and behave a bit. There isn't that's an actual orange car. I think that's Mike. Yes, that's Mike going that way. Now I could switch to this one in order to do the approach in an orange car, but I've 
I've had enough experience of switching cars at inopportune moments. Yeah. I was say, I've had enough opportunity. If I if I tried to change cars, then I'd probably have got at least one of those hunters attacking me. So I think I'm glad I didn't. Um, and Tristan attacked the orange car anyway because it was in about the right place, coming from the right direction, where there were a load of pink cars. So yeah, it's probably a good thing I didn't go for it. Oh, that was not how you take that. I did wonder briefly if I was going to be able to. Oh, have I got tased? Did I get tasered? Yes, I did. Okay, so we're, we're playing that, aren't we? So they're not shooting me. They're just tasing me and trying to run me over. Very successfully, I have to say. Well done there. Uh, I wonder if that's what... Oh, that might be... That'll be why I got away from Mike earlier then. <laughs> okay. We should take this opportunity to say hello to the viewers and remember to like and subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell. Because otherwise you won't get to hear our sultry tones. Or any other tones that we may happen to produce. This I don't know if we're encouraging daunting. people to subscribe or not with that. Uh, lower car park. A lot of pink. Nice. I'm north of shopping centre now. Oh Are you I in that area, Mike? Yes. Okay, because I saw an orange car. I'm going to go and heal up. Do you have a green light there? Challenge it and see. So I'm not seeing any pinks by the actual checkpoint itself. This one, Pete. Yeah. I'm out. Not reacting. over his head for good measure. Can he become a poodle? So no pink ones east, but a lot of pink ones north of shopping center. This is a radius, and automatically on principle. You have, he has to have a broken window for you to... Uh, uh, so obviously I tried to shoot that, so it's, it's going to try and run. Uh, there's a pink Mini here driving very jankily. Just turn that corner, that one there, yes. No. Got a pink 9F heading north. And the time is um, about right for taking the check. Though. I think I've got him heading north. This is very player-like driving. Oh, as I said that, he's so down though. I'm suspicious of one heading east, muscle car, purple I think it was, and turned south just before construction site, but I've lost sight of him. He ran me over. Ran me over. reload very slowly. There's two of them in there, I think. They didn't get knocked out. Actually, I think the passenger did. Uh, hello, Pete. <laughs> oh, oh, that was glorious. <laughs> it was an oracle, though, and oracle. Yep. Oh, yeah, loads heading north from the checkpoint. Yeah, yeah he, he's Arlan. on top of the checkpoint. Where's Carl? Carl? north of the checkpoint, but I can't tell which car. Who's shooting at me? Taking a uh, there's a pink car making off that way, but uh, yes, uh, heading fish. Uh, yes, going the wrong way. So uh, onto the highway, Elysian Island. 
pink car, can't quite make out the model. Temporary loss. Heading west, right? Uh, it was heading west, yes. But, uh, lost sight. It was a smallish car. Oh, that's He's shooting me with guns. He shouldn't have like guns. Him. Well, then maybe it's a gang member? That was mean. I don't like gang members. There's no more over here. There's a crap ton of pink near docks. Yeah, I think he's down there, though. So maybe he doubled back and I missed it? Potentially. But it makes sense if he went on to Elysian Island and then took the wrong turn when I saw he'd come off. Weird mini I'm gonna go attack at uh, Arena. The game broke. It's deserted. Mm. Orange mini just went hurtling past. Yeah, yes. that might that be is him. him. That has yeah, been. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm over Simeon Doxway, so it's. Okay, Orange mini. Got it. Yeah. Right. Uh, went off the jump. Down. Power, uh, power turned plant around. down. Yeah. Uh, going through, is that through the car park? Yeah, I'm going back up the jump. Whereabouts? Uh, so in the car park. The parking lot. Arena. Oh, right, gotcha. Just come out of the car park. Turn right. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Almost got round you. Uh, going anti clockwise uh, northeast from uh, uh, Arena into Ghetto. Towards Mega Mall? Think, uh, yeah, and then turn left round that sort of loop thing, cutting the corner thing. Uh, tram lines went straight across, heading northeast, turning, sliding, recovered. As Franklin's, uh, he just spun out. Where are we? Uh, We're at Ron. Yeah, I don't know if people know that. Uh, yeah. By the hospital. Yeah, possible. Uh, heading east now. Uh, about to go out. Uh, See? Yep, heading north towards Rail Yard. Yep. Crashed. Crashed. Oh, I didn't mean to help him. Ah. Thank you. Hello, Tristan. You're heading welcome. north along the rail lines, but then jumped off to go west. Just south of the highway. Uh, and then turned right, presumably about to leave Ghetto. Nobody's going through the alleyway, past the bright pink waitress van, uh, past the strip club, turning left in the middle of it. Pete! Damn it! Sorry. Uh, it's continuing out uh, towards the Grass Squares, heading north. Where he's taking a left at the first turn. Uh, he has crashed in Square Squares, he's going through Square Squares. Through the centre, heading north. He's learned that one trick he knows to turn to do it every time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right, we're heading east across a bridge. He's taking the turn just before the bridge. We are not going over it. Uh, heading north at the moment towards Dash Hand. Taking a left towards the hospital. We are at Pillbox Hill. Taking a tunnel through Pillbox Hill. Uh, we are at the end of the tunnel. He has taken the left at the end of the tunnel towards Higher Lower. Heading south. Uh, he has taken a right. We are now heading west through higher lower. Uh, past Arcadius. Continuing west. Uh, continuing. So we're at Art Gallery now. Continuing west. Past Art Gallery. He's taken a right there. Over the bridge. He has crashed. And flipped. Quite spectacularly. Uh He's upside down. You drove past him, guys. Oh. Uh, right, he's heading onto the highway. He's oh, taking the him. jump onto the highway. Which way? Back east. Uh, yeah. Which way is he going? Uh, he, he wasn't. He was upside down. Oh, he's he's currently on the highway. He's not really got a direction right now. He's bobbling around a bit. Right, he's yeah, on the on-ramp. Um, on your right, guys. Oh. Towards oh, Arcadius. Yeah. No problem. Whoa! That was rude. You very suddenly slowed down. I think he's going to try to get off at Outside. Red Car Park. He totally yep. is getting off at Red Car Park. Uh, north past... Oh, yeah, no one saw that. Alright, sorry, uh, Mark. 
shopping center north. Uh, it's going west now. Uh, north on the west side of the shopping center. Okay, turning. He's turning. Uh, oh, thank you. He, went in, he tried to go in the parking lot, but binged it a little bit. He's inside the shopping center. Oh, we gotta get him stuck. I didn't get him stuck. There you go, Mark. Mike. Hello. He's an orange, bro. Keep going, keep going. I'm stuck. Okay, here we go. We're heading south. Around the south side shopping center. Over the grass. Ooh. <laughs> he's just taking out Mark. Um, <laughs> he's just got a little dainty pirouette, like the dainty little pretty princess he is. Heading north. I hate that grass. And it turning rocks east. Heading east. Still heading east. And then turning left up towards the casino bridge. Oh, my car's making some bad sounds. Oh, unlucky, Mark. Unlucky. Uh, turning right over the south. Uh, the bridge immediately south of the casino, if you know what I mean. Not the casino one, the one just south of that. Into Mirror Park. There's no, one fewer cyclists in the world. Uh, multiple crashes. Still going through Mirror Park. I'm sorry. Um, temporarily lost sight of him at this time, but he was still straight on this road last time I saw. No eyes. No eyes. Oh, uh, possible. Uh, south side of Mirror Park. Found him. South out of Mirror Park. Uh, found him. He's 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 uh in the he's getting into a no wait words ah uh, car park. You know where the jump is? Yep. Yeah. Well, park. he's not there. Um, yeah, that <laughs> car park. He's on foot. Yeah, that that dude there. Oh, the one walking. Yep, I think so. Uh, reload time. Uh, you know what? Oh, we only have some guns. Who was, whose idea was that? Why the other one? I, I'm the black security dude running after him. He's yeah. going back into Mirror Park. And I'm really struggling to get up this hill. Whereabouts are you? Uh, uh, yeah, southwest, southwest corner west of time, Mirror yeah. Park. Oh, right, oh. yes. Who are you chasing? Uh, yeah, right about I've there. I've completely forgotten his character model. I'm the black dude with the security Yeah, I on. see you. I don't see him. Yeah, he was around here a second ago. You're gonna uh, yeah, I, I, it took me about five seconds longer than him to get over the crest of the hill. So I'm just searching the backs of these. Ah, uh, he might. This is embarrassing. Did anyone remember the character model? I think it was a greyish cloth, but I don't know. It's me. It is, but it might not have been. Yeah. Is someone else uh, in black? By the it's car just park. Just me. Uh, right, uh, back by the car park. In me? the yellow, yellow car. Ed, is that yeah, you? Yes. Oh, okay. Ah, yeah. that's me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh so, no! I was sure I saw an orange car. And this one took your car. Uh, you know the cars around me spawn in orange, yeah? <laughs> that was your car. Uh, I'm gonna. Actually, I don't need to go to the checkpoint to heal up anymore. Uh, casino Bridge, I'm suspicious of this car. Yes, J turn. Yeah, that one, Mark. East, past Casino. He did a right turn on red, which isn't in itself. Or something. I don't know. It was just just saw cars turning pink. Whereabouts are you? They're going through Mirror Park. Central Mirror Park now. 
heading south through Mirror Park. Uh, I've turned him round. Uh, behind you, Mike. Sorry. Uh, as, uh, what? As behind you, we are behind you. We're catching up with you. Yeah, this oh, one. This one. Gotcha. So I thought you were saying you were behind me, and look behind us, like I can't see you. So uh, I suppose technically it's true, you you were behind me, it's just that's not quite what you meant, as in you weren't immediately following me? Give me a warning. So heading west to... towards Square of Squares. Uh, yes. Yes, I'm on it. Yep. Not much more than I am, but you know. <gasps> Sorry, my bad. Maybe you stop suddenly. Uh, into an alleyway here, heading north. Oh, he likes this alleyway. And south again. Heading south. Continuing south, yeah. That's the police station. Yep, and then turning right towards the south side of Square Squares. This is the middle. Uh, yes, but I had a oh, crash. Here's the next one. Yep. Lost eyes. Sorry. Ow. Hashtag logic. Yeah. Uh, pink cars coming across the bridge towards the south side of Mirror Park. So from Square Square's direction. Oh yes. There's an orange car in their midst. It has two people in it. Uh, yeah, I've, I've just gone over the bridge that way. I'm now on the corner of Square Square's and there are no more pink cars. Yeah, that's him. What here? Uh, head that bridge, heading east, south side of Square uh, Mirror Park, heading down onto the highway, heading north. The pink car. Yep. Yep. Uh, so it's wet, heading west now, taking the mostly. Upside down. Oh, not this situation again. God damn it. I got him! Yes! There we go. Only there we go. Kill still. Got him with the taser. Through the back windscreen as well. That, um, that's a question. I was wondering how on earth I got away from Mike earlier when he was uh, when I was just literally running away from him. I, I missed you, and it <laughs> takes about four hundred hours to reload the taser. I was gonna say if you were restricted to a taser, that makes that makes sense. 